Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it's the morning of day 88. I went ahead and did make that Farmer Mastery book last night. We had enough pages for it, which is good. Go ahead and drop that down here. Let's get that done. Ta -da! Excellent. So now, with the Farmer Mastery being done, we do have one skill point available as well. I should probably put it in from the shadows, but I think we're okay there. As our, we got a while to go before our rifle is maxed out. So let's go ahead and look at what else we can put it on. So we've got... This unlocks the SMG, which and Grandpa's Learning Elixir, all that good stuff. Awesome sauce. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab... We need pistol barrels. We need... Pistol parts. Um... Uh, no. Pistol grips. Auto rifle parts. And AK receivers. And that makes us the SMG. As somebody outside's driving loud. Let's make three of them. I gotta say, I got you know, on my offline playthrough, I just love rocking those things. There's just something about the SMG firing off. It's just so much more satisfying than the coil rifle. I don't know why. We'll get those going. Let's get this locked into place here. Get 11 of them done. Bring the grenades with us today. We're going to go ahead and talk to these guys again. I did cancel those quests last night. So we want to try and find level tier 5 buried treasures, but we can't necessarily get them. I'm going to check these guys too, because I really want to get that multi-tool. Um, it is kind of cheating, but got fetches any buried supplies nope what about Jen ah, my speed's Sorry almost my back to normal mood my coffee makers on the fritz again um, jobs tier five buried supplies southeast Ooh, you got like three of them oh you got two I think I've got a job or oh thank goodness I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Well, I'll do it for you. So we don't get killed. Oh. Um. Let's take the bike. I'm much preferring the bike. Alright. So we'll go down and do that one. We'll come back. Get the second quest. Get that one done. And then hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We'll net a multi-tool out of this. I'd love to get two of them so we can put one in the workbench and keep it there, but whatever. Yeah, see, I reloaded the game because I was having problems with the sound. And the motorcycle with the boost mod is just a little too much until the area is already loaded. Just can't use the boost. That's fine. Where are you? Oh, you're way over there. I guess I should be looking at the distance. That would help. Yeah, we gotta fix this bike, too. There you are. Let's get our bike pointed so we can get the hell out of here. Don't feel like fighting the zombies. We got lots of gas. All right, well, it's here somewhere. Let's do this. So apparently there's a wandering trader around here. All right, normally these things are in the southwest corner. But I have not seen it yet in the southwest corner. And this one does not appear to be. Wait. I'm in the wrong spot. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I totally was. It's up here. Alright, uh. Where's that wandering trader? Hurry up, buddy. I got I got all day here. Oh, he's over there. Yeah. 
I don't think he's the one from before because I did find that guy when I was going back down after we picked up our key cards in the last episode. I did find the guy and I did talk to him. He didn't have a multi-tool so he, and he's over that hill. So this is a different wandering trader. I mean, it doesn't matter to me, but... We'll talk to him in a second. I'm gonna probably rinse the zombies if we're gonna talk to him. Actually, let's find this first. We'll go talk to him. See if he's got a multi-tool, which he probably won't. Then we'll come back, unearth this one. See if it's got a multi-tool. Man. I know you're here somewhere. You're done. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I gotta dig up this whole area. You get the shovel. Come here. And you get the shovel. Uh, it's over here more. Well, uh, kind of in the southwest corner. Just not in the southwest corner I was friggin' digging in. So if you don't, yeah, if you guys didn't know the plan Darkness Falls, currently most of the buried supplies are in the southwest corner. Let's go talk to this guy over here first. Where are you? There you are. You should give these guys names. Uh, okay, what do you got for inventory here? Uh, you got a multi-tool? I don't have my money on me anyway. But I can always come back out here. AR schematic. Nope. Let's just do it quickly. Nope. I got better things to do than stare at the likes of you. Yeah, I got better things to do than look at your shit inventory. This guy gets the bat. It interrupts me while I'm digging, it gets the bat. Alright, we need this out just in case. Fuck. Let's go get that second one. I don't feel like fighting you guys. It's a lot of you. It wouldn't take long to kill you, but I can't be bothered. I got shit to do. So we'll go back. Get the second one. See if that's got the tool. If it doesn't have the tool, then we'll just choose a nice hard friggin' tier 5 someplace somewhere and go murder some shit. I did a bit of work on the base last night. Upgraded a few of the blocks, the damaged blocks. Replaced the one that was missing near the door. Got that updated. Hopefully over the next couple of nights, because we've only got, like, today, tomorrow... Well, we got four days, including the Horde Night Day. 88, 89, 90, and 91. Right? So we should be able to get the rest of the repairs done to the base. I'm going to leave the wires for now. If I can get to them, great. But I got to get underneath here. And then I got to have an extension over top because I want to run the wires straight down. In order to do that, though, I got to dig under here. Like one block more down to put another block of reinforcement in. And then two more blocks down to put the posts in. I got to have a way to get out of there for when I wire the posts from there to down there. And then from there, I got to put two, the posts above this too. So it's going to be a bit of work to do it that Don't way. Spend it all in one place. It's kind of red. Oh, Jesus do. Christ. That's lousy sure shit. Take these. Uh, sure. Let's grab the other one. I think I've got a job. Thanks, son. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Yeah, well, this friggin' loot is letting me down. My God, I'm so tired of this terrain. Like honestly, who generates a map like this? I'd love to go down and take on that castle again. But that's one of those things I think we need to be like right there when it turns morning. 
Uh, southwest is that corner over there. So let's put the bike here. I think we got to be there like like right at morning. So that's going to be like a full day at least, probably. But I, I was serious when I said in one of my previous episodes that I think we should do a series where it's like... Rather than having horde nights, we take on like the difficult POIs on a, on a. I mean, we could do it at nighttime too, but that would be the thing where we would like crank it up to like max difficulty and then just kind of go in and do one of those big tier five buildings as our horde night, as opposed to running the horde. Yeah, so southwest corner is usually the best bet. It's not always a guarantee, but I would say probably like 80 to 90 percent of the time that I've been since I learned that trick. It's been, the treasure's been in the southwest corner. So, it's pretty darn reliable. Just wanna have some clearance over my head in case this decides to cave in on me. There it is. Dig out so we can get out of here. There we go. Easy access, and the bike is right there. Nope. Because, of course, not. Well, let's go take a mission. Alright, let's see what she's got. Good morning, Survivor. What's up, kiddo? Oh, we'll take that. Make my payment to the Duke now. I'll take that. Looks pretty good. Uh, what do you got for jobs? Fetch clear, northwest. Um, what is that? I think I've got a job or two. Well, they said I we got to go to do the airport at some one. point. Try not to, um, get radiated? I'll make sure I don't get radiated. All right, let's go. Drop all the shit in here. Go do that airport, guys. We passed by it, I don't know how many times. We're just gonna go in there, murder everything. Is it fetch clear, right? Clear and retrieve supplies. Yeah, it should be no problem. We got lots of the day left too, like, yeah. Maybe like 30 minutes before nightfall? No. Yeah, about 30 minutes before nightfall, probably. We'll have another look at the sky when we get down there. Plenty of time to do this. It's a single floor, right? So it's not that bad. If it was like multi-level, then it's a different story. Oh, sorry, but you have to die, lady. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. All right, where is it? Over there. Wait, what? Really? I thought it was the one in our town. Ah, damn it. See, this is what I get for not paying attention. It's like, Immediately I see airfield, I'm like, oh yes, the one in our town. Oh no, it's not. It's the one over on the other side of this fucking mountain, probably. Yeehaw! Let's not go in the water, though. Oh, it might be on the edge of this other town that's over here. Now, do I want to... Oh, there's a road art just right up here, I think. Just past this thing. There it is. Hopefully it's on this dirt road. We'll see. No, maybe not. There you are. Hidden airfield. It's a drug runner's airfield. Uh, is there a treasure over there? How do I get into this place? Oh, I know where it is. It's on the other side. Alright, if we get this thing done early... Let's just park the bike right here. We'll come out this end of the... Uh, at this, this end of the uh, map. Do we need anything out of here? I don't think so. No point in killing anybody on the outside just yet. So I think we go in... Not this side. I had it right. It was the other side. Yeah, you go in kind of like in the middle of the place. Just down there, I think. Park the bike up here on the road. Let's just... Get rid of these guys. Uh, I was going to hope that was a two for one, but 
Not today. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sakes. It bothers the man, it gets the bat. It bothers the man, it gets the bat! Oh, this is a different airfield than one I'm used to. Cool! Guess they were coming back from a party. The three of them. This the... Where is the... Entry? So... The airfield I thought of... Oh, there it is down there. No, that's fine. The airfield I was thinking of has the entry on the side. And then you kind of work your way left, right. But this one, it's nice being down here. Because then we can work our way from this end all the way back to the front. And hopefully we don't miss anybody because it is a clear as well, right? Alright, let's do this. This should be fun. Ooh, a lot of their foliage is gone. Heard somebody back there. Ooh. Oh, that's him. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's another zombie there I didn't see. Oh, come on. Loot the bag before it dies. Ooh, lockpicks. Sleep on the job. Get a coil rifle around. Ooh, there you are. To the head. Is that a... Did I just shoot the tree down? No, it sounded like it was, but... Get those guys... Ooh. I think that cop was part of the guys we had to kill. Okay, we got some... Idiots wandering around out here. Uh, we want to do this one. Another guy over here somewhere. I think we got to do like... Ooh, footballer. Wonder if there was a uh, wandering horde. I was gonna say, I think we gotta do like a base build in a place like this. Like, I'd love to be able to, like, ooh, that's nice. That's generic skill notes for a free skill point. Accept that now. Um, oh, that's uh, power armor legs too. So I like to do a base build, but I wish these things were like, like upgradable, like concrete. Because it would be totally worth like using them for like a base build, so your base would at least look half decent. God, this gun. Okay, I think we gotta go. We could clear this lot and then work our way back up through the buildings and then go back down the airfield. We got a military guy. Got a couple down there. Because this would be pretty cool to, like, build into a base where, like, you had, like, fallback points, like, point A, point B, point C, point D, you know? Maybe I just go ahead and do that anyway, and like, in a series. Build it like a military compound. We'd have to do it so that it was, like, fair, though, like, not have, like, God, the recoil. Not have, um... Hang on.
the zombies set to max or any of that stuff so that the base had a fair chance to survive we had a fair chance to survive and the zombies have a fair chance to kill us you know if we do that that I think that would be kind of cool and then you could build it like out of like you know sandbags and barbed wire and whatever So the zombies have a good chance, like, not a good chance, but like, ooh, another one. God, I couldn't see him at all. Yeah, so like the zombies had that fair chance to, uh, to break in. Is there another guy over here? He's behind there. Fuck off. I should be able to shoot through the wall though, right? Yep. Uh, let's go this way. See, I love how this PI POI is laid out with all these low trees. Iron frame block, nice. Don't know what I'll use it for, but we'll take it. Okay, northern part is clear. So we could make it like... I know I'm not doing what I'm saying. Alright, I said I was going to do. We're going to clear the airfield first and then come back up. That way if I make a lot of noise in the building, I'm not getting ads from the runway. Because I'm not always going to see... behind that rock. I'm not always going to be able to see um, the zombies I'm coming up on, so... But I think maybe we'll wait till Alpha 20 for that, because Alpha 20, we have the ability to make a lot more... Um, like a, a wider variety of shapes with the blocks. They've integrated it so now that you can, like, once you make your building block, you can pretty much build any shape in the game. Which is uh, the way I feel it should have been from the beginning, but I understand. I mean, it's... Game's, like, still in alpha, right? So it's fine. But now we won't be forced to be, like, way more creative with the builds, because you can actually get the blocks you need. Mechanical parts. That's not a bad haul. Alright. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. It's all gotta hurt. I'm just a world of hurt. Oh, that's black dye. I really hope I don't have to go up there. That looks like a... Like, see what I mean? Like, this is pretty cool looking. And if we add that mod... Um, the vehicle mod... It adds, like, a... Um, a crop duster to the game, too. Which you need, like, a runway to be able to take off and land. It'd be cool to start off with, like, a... Like, start off with, like, a couple things, like a crop duster and... A gun or something, a one gun. Fuck, like this. Ooh. Ragdoll. We got one more guy back here. Groin shot. Okay, then we got someone over here. And then we gotta go through all the buildings. Too bad we don't need hay or grass. Sucks to be you, lady. All right, let's get to center now. Whew. 
Yeah, but Alpha 20 now, they've got like pawns and stuff as part of the, uh, as like part of the city POIs and all that. Can we get a twofer here? We sure as fuck can. Get this guy out of the way. Ooh. So I want to do an I want to do an episode on Darkness Falls um, classes. Which ones are? Because Kane's going to be changing the mod slightly, where you only start off with one. Um, but I want to do a um, like this thing's over overpowered. I want to do a uh, an episode where we got somebody over here. Shit, do I have to break in here? Where I talk about the different classes? Shit. No, sir. I don't like it. Let's see if we can break out this corner over here. And then... Okay, got anything in here? There really isn't, like, too much I want anymore, so, like, looting is, like... Unless we find a multi-tool in a box, which is, I, I think, unlikely. The only way I think we're going to find it is if it's in, like, a uh, hidden stash. And even then, I don't think the hidden stashes have them. They might. I don't know. I could be wrong. If, if, if you know for sure, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure they don't. That's a white... Check these boxes real quick. Take those. Actually, we don't need that. Wait, is this blue or... That's blue. Don't care. If it's black, I'll keep it. Actually, we don't need these either. Yes, yeah, so I want to do a... Uh, video on the classes because I feel some of them are like slightly overpowered. I don't know how you would rebalance them. There's like, I would categorize them into it's still alive. Into three different classes. Not necessarily good Good, mediocre, worst. I would separate them to, you know, starting, mid game, end game. I think if I was going to choose how to do them, that's probably how I would end up doing them. But, I mean, well, that's not bad. They're all good. Like, they've all got their own individual um, benefits. But some of them are just like a lot better than others. Nobody else in here? I think we have to go up though. I think there's probably somebody upstairs. And maybe on that roof too. We got somebody right here. He was poised like he was prepared for me, but didn't look like he was. Oh shit, we gotta get the uh, thing from down there. 
We'll run back right after this and get it. Oh, fuck. Why do they always have wraparounds? I don't see anybody in here. Nope. That's kind of nice. I guess I should have looked up, though. A little late, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, is he on the roof? Guess it doesn't really matter where he was. He did. Alright, let's run back. Grab that... I think I know where it is. No, I don't know where it is. It's on the roof. Is there a way up? Oh, there is. There you are. There you are. Yeah, I gotta be careful here, because I might miss stuff if I don't go up. Alright, let's pop this door. I'm really sorry about that. That's a lot of zombies. Ooh, multi-tool? Nope, we got a couple of these though, which I'll scrap because we need another 600 for the next friggin' mastery book. Alright, we're gonna go around this way and go in, I think. Oh, it's a cop. Got another one right here. Military guy. Trying not to waste ammo. I mean, we got over 3,000 rounds on us, so it's not like we're going to run out. I just don't want to um, use ammo if we don't have to. Alright, we got another guy here. Let's clear this building now. Got somebody on the wing. Shit. Man, this thing does a lot of damage. Especially if you can get that headshot first. Headshot takes at least half their hit points or more. Nice, have a quick look here. Ooh, another, uh... Another pickaxe, that's kind of nice. Shotgun rounds. A little bit of ammo. Wrench. I'm not going to bother with the rest because I don't really care. I mean, I do care, but we got about four or five minutes before the sun goes down. We got a Bernie over there. We got a guy right here. They got to fix the hitboxes on those things on the ground. Wait, there was a ladder up here, wasn't there? Let's go double check that ladder. in case something you need to be up there to, for it to spawn. I've had a couple of instances where I've had to like, there's a few houses, uh, third party houses, where you gotta kinda like walk up the stairs to the house. It's like one or two steps right off the front. And then, um, there's the A bag. Then you go into the house, but the thing is, is that this, okay. Quiet. We'll go up there in a second. The thing is, is that the zombie doesn't spawn until you get to the top of the steps. So like, like they're right beside you once you get up there. It's kind of annoying, but... They don't, I mean, unless you're walking up, 
with um, without stealthing. They don't like they don't notice you. So if you stealth up, they don't notice you, and you're sitting right beside them. But if you walk up thinking that everything's going to be cool, they end up biting you in the ass. Let's just scrap this. I don't know why I'm keeping all these friggin' pain pills. I never use them. That's a... Ah, oh, shit. Fuck you! Yeah, see, it's kind of a cool plane. Alright, we don't got much left here. Ooh, mixer here. I don't think that's the last guy, though. I think there's somebody up here. Oh, there's this guy. He was feral. There's got to be a way up to the roof here. There's the crickets. So we got four... Five looks like back that way. Yeah, this is why I'm worried I'm going to miss stuff because it's like you got to be right beside them for them to spawn. And I already kind of went through here. And these guys weren't there. That's a little frustrating. Because now I don't know if it's going to say I've gotten them all because of the size of the POI. Yeah, because these guys weren't here the last time we came through. Hopefully it's just these two clowns left. Where are you, though? God, I like this so much. He heard me. Where'd the bag go? Didn't he drop a bag? I thought he dropped the bag. Yeah, see we're not done. What do we miss? What did we miss? This building, maybe? Where's the door? Right here. Well, I guess we're making one. Fuck, what do we miss? That's a bit of piss off now. Maybe it's the top of this building? No ladder up here though, right? <sighs> I hope I don't have to leave. This is so frustrating.
That scared the fuck out of me. Thank God there's like nobody else here. Anybody up there? Doesn't look like it. Fuck me. I've had other POIs that I've gone into. It's like you show up to do the quest, and it's a clear quest. You get there, and then it says, I guess it didn't spawn any zombies, because it says, oh yeah, clear up, kill zombies, and it gives you the check mark. The zombies are all dead. And I'm like, great. But the quest is still active. It's, even though you've activated the quest, you cleared all the zombies, there's nobody there. Fuck me. Maybe more spawned out this way. What am I missing? Top of this building, maybe? Top of the water tower, maybe? Who did we miss? Normally it gives you a marker. Who the fuck did we miss? Oh. There we go. Ah, oh, good. I thought for a second there we were going to be screwed. Nice. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, this would be pretty cool though. I think In Darkness Falls for the next next series because I thought about doing it for this particular um, version this Alpha 19 but I didn't get into working on buildings until um, late when they were already talking about um, you know Alpha 20 and things like that so I was like ah crap I can't really do too much because everything's going to change anyway but I was thinking about doing like a, like a variety of Darkness Falls buildings that you could go visit so like one would be like the tailors so it would have like a sewing like the uh, the uh, sewing machine in it one would be like a metal workshop where it would have like a metal workbench but they would be owned by the white river group so it would be when you get there there's like one guard protecting the place i should talk to kane about it because it, like you could do it so that you know the the traders, like after a certain number, will tell you about these places and you can go there. You know? It's like, oh, you finished your first 10 missions. You can open up your next trade route, right? But it, he'll also tell you where, hey, there's a tailor in town, by the way. And you can go visit the tailor if you, if you haven't got a tailor workbench yet. You can do it that way. And then there would be a workbench like in the, on the world available to you. Same thing with the metal workstation. I mean, they're easy enough to build. And you can get them like at level ten, but it would just be interesting. And like the airfield, like that could be like maybe the center of the airfield is controlled um, by guards and stuff, but the outlying areas aren't. So you have to fight your way to get into where the guards are. You could also put like a special trader there if you wanted to. Anyway, let's drop this quest off and uh, see what she's got for us. Sorry for my foul mood. That's well, alright. We'll, take on the Fritz again. we'll take that. And I think we'll just take this and sell it back to you. Alright, we got a ton of stuff to sell you here. Uh, let's hold on to that, I think. That we can use to repair our current one. That can go. We can use that for repairs. I'm not going to sell it all now. I want to go in and uh, 
assess what we've got inside. We could use that to repair our current one. Don't need that. Let's hang on to that door. I want to keep these guys. I think I can get rid of these guys. I think that's all. I want to take the uh, Thank you so much. Hey, light mod again. off of this guy. So we can get rid of that. I like how you have to sell these separately. I think that's it. I think that's all. Oh, this guy. Yep, so how much did we make today? We made 21 skill notes, two of these guys, and coin, 12,000. So well Alrighty worth the then. attempt. So tomorrow Stay we're going to... safe out there. I'm going to work on the base a bit tonight after I get this stuff put away. And then tomorrow we're going to see if we can get another um, buried supplies and go out and do that. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comments section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.